Alter Schwede, ey. <lacht> Wie geil. One million dollars. Screenshot that shit. Mm -hmm. Rainy day in Vienna today, but today is a special day. I'm gonna show you along in how Fedor's playing the final four because today at, we are at the ultimate grinders, which is Fedor's place in Vienna. I can show you a little bit. And you've seen probably some footage already. Um, Fedor's playing downstairs 501k, 2k, um, right before the grind today. Uh, he got a seat um, in a spot where um, he thinks he's gonna uh, have a good win rate and he's playing that right now downstairs so we're gonna see that and afterwards at 8 p.m is the final four of the 25k heads up i'm gonna film a little bit show you along and hopefully feda can win a bracelet today and yeah i'm just gonna take the, the telephone uh, and film and show you around uh, i'm playing 501 k 2k on GG and uh, it's a pretty fun game with some uh, known faces. So yeah, we're in with 200, 30k profit so far, some ups and downs, some big hands. Let's see. How do you feel playing that game? You haven't been playing high stakes cash for a while? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel pretty decent. I. I think uh, I've been playing quite some heads up lately and uh, actually played quite a bit 2550 and 5100 on GG. So uh, yeah, I feel I feel good in this game. I think uh, I think I'm a winner in this game. So um, obviously it depends on who's playing, but uh, right now on this table I feel good. Who are your opponents here? Um, so it's Michael Jang, a tournament uh, and now cash game player as well. Uh, Viktor Malinowski, cash game crusher, comes from the heads up. Makita Bajakowski, obviously fished 2013, big crusher. And uh, David Peters, also comes from tournaments but plays cash games from time to time. Um, and then we have most likely, like his name is Can't Breathe, I think it's Matt Kirk. Um, he's in 400k, so. Uh, He's playing poker mostly recreationally, um, but also plays in some really high stakes cash games, mostly PLO. So uh, yeah, I hope to win some big parts against him. Awesome. So now it's, uh, you can see it's uh, 8, 11, 18, 11, it's like 6 p.m. in the evening. Mm -hmm. And at 8 p.m. you have a big, yeah. big final four. How do you feel about that? Uh, 8 p.m. The 25k heads up starts. Four left. I play against Sergi Reichsach first, uh, Spanish crusher, and then uh, hopefully go to the final mm -hmm. and ship the bracelet. Uh, I'll do a session with Elliot at 7:30 to get primed and uh, be ready for the game. And yeah, I'm excited for to play some poker. That's mm -hmm. also an interesting spot because I'm so stark in flop corner. Bist du <lacht> Nein, wir haben es wenn er Ass 9 einen Diamond zum Beispiel hat, wie oft bettet er, oder Ass, sagen wir mal Ass 2 einen Diamond so, wie oft mhm. bettet er, wie groß. Und das pukt halt schon am Turn, ne? Mhm. Und ich glaube, das ist nicht so schlecht. 
das am Turn zu raisen mit der Equity gegen die super starken Hände und, äh, und dann auch Blanks halt trotzdem zu schaffen und mhm. was zu folgen hoffentlich, aber I don't know. Gegen Könige ist natürlich schwer, die zu folgen. Ja, die Frage ist halt auch, ne? Wie viele Bluffs hat er da mit halbem Pot am Turn? Aber es ist halt auch, also 25% am Flop und einen halben Pot am Turn ist halt auch so. I don't know, was hat er da? Also so, achso. Nicht so geil, finde ich. Mhm. Was König? Nee. King Queen? Maybe. Halt so, das ist für mich halt wirklich, da habe ich halt Sechser. Und wahrscheinlich, also wirklich, wahrscheinlich nur 6er und 7, 8 suited gefühlt. So, mhm. Ich meine, das jetzt, keine Ahnung, aber wenn ich überlege, was für ein Sizing ich da, das ist jetzt, ob nicht, äh, ich meine, 4x am Turn, so, das wird keine äh, klare GTO-Strategy sein, mhm. sondern halt eher kleine. Und ich meine, seine Bluffs sind ja, aber das ist ja auch, er, er spielt ja auch in dem Spot auf keine kein, äh, Perfect Strategy, weil halt. Also so genauso wie ich den Flop halt mehr calle und weniger raise, ähm, spielt er halt dann auf allen Streets sehr wahrscheinlich auch. Also ich meine, so schätze ich Mikita ein von all dem, was wir bisher gespielt haben. Mhm. Ist er sich halt bewusst, was optimales Play ist und verändert halt seine Strategie basierend darauf und das macht den Spot natürlich ein bisschen. Noch tougher. Genau. Ja, gut, wenn kommt, ne? Ja, die neun war nett. Ja, ich meine, nachdem er Turn Called so, also, mhm. dann hat er halt äh, King Queen, Kings und halt ein paar Flash Draws, so Combo Draws. Mhm. Vielleicht halt, und dann kann er eventuell noch so ein paar andere Hände haben, ne? Vielleicht hat er mal Aces oder so. Mhm. Ähm, aber. Ich glaube, das ist jetzt so, ich, ich, das sind ganz interessante Spots. Das hat ähm, so, so Spots, wo du, ähm, du check raced den Turn, oder kann auch eine Bet sein, aber du, du bettest am Turn oder raced am Turn, so, dass am River, sagen wir mal, noch 0,5 Stacked Pot Ratio left ist. Ähm, und die meisten Leute, Leute jammen am Turn zu wenig. Also so, wo du einfach die Hände, die du hast, sind dann eher so Flush Draw oder Combo Draws oder Pairs oder so. Und die meisten callen das dann einfach und gucken, also entscheiden dann quasi im River. Und das ist halt interessant mit zum Beispiel Combo Draws, die im River keine Showdown Equity haben, ähm, den Turn zu raisen, wenn dann 0,5x Stack to Pot Ratio left ist. Weil wenn er jetzt zum Beispiel sowas hat wie Ass 10 in Diamonds, ähm, kann er den River halt nicht callen. Mhm. Ne, weil halt, äh, er hat halt die obvious, also er hat halt den Worst Bluff Catcher von allen Händen, die er halt irgendwie haben kann. Mhm. Und besser mit schlechteren Draws dann, statt zu jammen, sich behind zu lassen. Genau, das heißt, da in, in dem Szenario, wenn er as Bube oder as 10 in Diamonds hat, mhm. ähm, oder vielleicht halt auch Jack-10 in Diamonds, ja, wenn er das nicht im Turn jammt, sondern halt callt und halt seine Range generell da Kings callt und mhm. vielleicht Aces callt und so weiter, er hat ja jetzt nicht so mega viel Incentive, den Turn zu jammen. Ähm, dann ist es halt schon interessant, dann den River zu jammen, weil du halt äh, ja nur, äh, also er muss ja nur ein Drittel seiner Hände folgen mhm. und es reicht schon und äh, das ist in dem Spot dann schon interessant. Mhm. Wenn er dann halt S10, S Jack, vielleicht noch Jack 10 oder so oder vielleicht auch mal S ist gut, die Colter dann auf dem River oder so. Nom 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 <laughs> Yeah, like uh, up 160k And uh, now the only thing left is to spin the wheel <laughs> Yeah 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 Yeah
I'm gonna start the grind soon as well. Or I already started the grind. I jumped into the $206 bounty builder. I'm playing that right now on my phone. I already have seven start stacks. I'm currently two out of 100 and uh, or 1500. And later is also for me a big Sunday. I'm playing the 10K Super Millions and the 10K WPT on Party Poker. Um, gonna play that as well. Keep you posted. And yeah. Thanks everyone for watching the Grinders episodes. Kevin? Ah, that's it. Yeah. Cheers, bro. I have some heard that from my head in Tarnum. Mm -hmm. Nice. Bye. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to be casting this live. We have the top four players. They're going to be playing live. We're going to be jumping around between the tables, but this is the 25K Heads Up event. Uh, it's a big boys event, you know, 25K yeah. <laughs> Heads Up. Um, you're going to get the best players, you know, in the world, at least in the tournament world, mm -hmm. uh, fighting for this. And now we have four left. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see this one. But let's take a look at who actually made it into this final. So these are our four players uh, and the bracket, what it's looking at right now. Uh, and here is our most well-known player here at the top four, Peter Holes. Uh, I mean, what can I say about this guy? He, His just tournament resume is just off the charts, right? Yeah, I mean, no, he's, he's ridiculous. Eighth on the all-time money list, a GG Poker Ambassador, a World Series of Poker uh, bracelet winner, three World Poker Tour titles, yeah, big three time player. European Poker Tour titles, I mean, yeah, he's he's pretty good at poker. He's ran pretty good too, I think, yeah. for sure. Right? <laughs> no I mean. <laughs> All right, and look at that. Looks like he has a pretty tough bracket as well. George Wolf there in the round of 16. Theodore with the Kings against Ace Queen for George. Yeah, this is how you win tournaments. <laughs> Get those cooler setups and your Kings hold and it's a GG easy game. He must get him a lot for all those turns. <laughs> for sure he did, yeah, definitely. A lot of re-raising going on here. George is going to put them all in and feed or calls. Looking for aces or multiple queens here for George. King on the flop. Just drills the king. What a... <laughs> it's not even a sweat for George. Oh, man. What a pro. All right, well, <laughs> feed or taking a lot of chips from George Wolf there. He did end up beating him. Goes mm -hmm. up against Justin Bonomo. In the round of eight. Looks like Fedora this time with Ace Jack gonna raise up against Queen Five. Justin. Thinking a little bit. Oh, and just Justin shoves, it, shoves all it in. in. Justin gets his hand caught wow. in the cookie jar. Oh, yeah, I guess. The so. Queen Five off. <laughs> well Fedor had to. <laughs> <laughs> The snap call with the ace jack, of course. 30 big blinds ish effective. Looking for a queen or a five, does not find it. GG Fedor, good luck. All right, and of course, he'll be playing Sergi next. Well, it looks like we're just about ready to go. I think we're gonna jump over to the table. The countdown is done, and it is time for some heads up action. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go, this. let's go. <laughs> he bets enough to put Sergey all in. Yeah. Like you said, it puts him into a tough spot here. Yeah. That's what you're thinking. Yeah! Kleines oh, Seizing am Flop, Bro. So, Mann. Oh, da muss der Flop größer werden. <laughs> ja. Das geil, Digga. <laughs> ja! Vamos! Kimmer, Moi. Kimmer, Moi. Oh, 
das war sick. Flash schon da! What are you playing now, Peter? Um, I just reacted some of the other stuff that's about to, where Late Track runs out, so um, yeah, chilling right now. Waiting for this table to bust and then you are. Yeah, so the other guys are still playing the 25k heads up. I'm waiting for my final and um, playing a 25k on stars, doubled there. Nice. So yeah, let's fucking go. Wow. Ich hab sogar ja, 80 Prozent. Hm? Ja. Drittel. ja, zwei Drittel nur. Ja, ich hätte noch größer gehen sollen, aber ich habe halt eh schon nur 40 kann Left. Aber ich glaube, es ist fein. Mhm. Der hat so eine starke Range on Turn, was continued. Der einfach immer und Setup geht halt eh rein. Also wenn er Flash hat, ist halt eh, ist halt eh drin. Dann das schlechteste River. Genau, er hat halt so. Er hat halt so Aces und äh, auch genau so King Ten Clubs oder sowas mal haben oder King, King Jack O mit Jack of Diamonds oder so Hände kann er da halt haben. Mhm. Ähm, Aces ist schon eine sehr. Queens halt oft, die most likely hat sind halt so Queens Jacks Tens mit Diamond oder so. Ähm, ja. So, das 25k geht weiter. Ja, wir haben 20 BB. Doppelten Startstack, Double Starting Stack. Let's fucking go. Now we're watching the other game between Bruno and Octai. Let's see. It's gonna make it. We will play. I'm ready. Like Let's fucking go. In heads up, it's difficult because you you play wide ranges, so you have to you cannot only call good hands, and I think that's. That's one of the things that uh, that's the most difficult in the beginning is you you have to value back thin, you have to check raise bluffs, you have to raise thin for value, you have to make euro calls all the time. So it's uh, it's pretty difficult to get in at first. So I'm really happy about um, that I had so much time to train heads up against the best now, and I feel really comfortable in this tournament. So um, I can't wait to, to ship this now. Million first. Million first. And golden bracelet. Where is it? Check out. One more of these beauties. Let's fucking go. It's time. They actually already started, but it hasn't gone too far yet. Bruno against Fedor. It's gonna be a good one. Fedor, of course, one of the biggest winners ever in poker. Yep. Bruno with Ace Jack. Wow, they're really getting some hands, aren't they? Against Queen Ten suited here. A re raise from Fedor. Yep. Suited brought away, makes sense. Ace oh. Jack a call. Ooh, Queen Ten Four on this flop. Bruno flops in a uh, uh, straight draw, and uh, Fedor with top two pair. Fedor bets big ish. Mm. Ooh, picks up a flush draw as well on the turn. This hand just has everything. Yeah, and Bruno. Picking up another straight draw with the nine. Ah, yeah. So Bruno is not going to be going anywhere. And he actually bets out 14K into a 23K pot. Fedor, absolutely loving it. I think he'll just call. Mm. Oh, and he rivers the queen here. Makes the full oh, house. Man, I think Bruno Checks. might go for it here. Measles. You know, if Fedor has a pair here, he can, oh, and of course, easy, raise mm. by Fedor. Bruno can't be happy with that. Yeah, of <laughs> he, he folds it, and Fedor are going to become a pretty big chip leader here, three to one in stack size. Mm. up to 1500 yeah. from Bruno. Oh my God. And the call from Fedor, oh my God, a 5-4-8 board. Bruno with the over pair, he bets out two thirds pot. I think this could be it. Fedor with that mid set. Yeah, I think Fedor might just go for the raise here. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Board. Jam it, 
Hold. Hold, bro. Hold. Hold. Come on. Hold. Come on. Black. Black or red? Yeah! He's too stupid. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> 25k Heads up Champion What the fuck ey Holy shit Alter Schwede ey <lacht> Wie geil 1 million dollars Screenshot that shit mm -hmm. So sick eine Million. So now I need to grind this shit. <laughs> I want to party, not grind. Whoa. No, this is sick. Was denn? Was denn? Sechs aus sechs. Nee, nur zweieinhalb. So weit sind wir noch nicht, Brudi. So weit sind wir noch nicht. So, das hier sieht doch wieder aus nach einer guten Hand da im 5K. Oh, war mal ein König, ja? Guck mal, 6K gecasht. Nehmen wir. So, FT, ne? Hast du gesehen? Was gibt es so fast? Äh, 80. Amo, 80 K. Schieb it! Ja, hier unten einfach mal dreieinhalb Mille in dem Scheißgerät, ey. Aber gerade eben, aber schön A6. Oh, good luck hier, S King. 10K. Großer Pot. Riesenpot. Oh. LOL, AS3O. LOL. Geschenk. Komm. Holt! Holt jetzt! Einmal so ein Geschenk bekommen. Oh. Komm. Das muss jetzt einfach durch. No. Bitte. Sick. Was? Lol, ey. Was ist da? Äh. Flop 3-Way, kleine Bad Call. Und dann Check und ich bitte den Reward. Ja. We are in the money in the 25k. Day two. Day two. Nobody wanted to buy action. <laughs> Now actually, uh, someone actually uh, bought last minute and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty sick result so far. I'm sitting one out of 13 in the money and it continues tomorrow. So let's ship it. 600k first. 600k. Up guy. Vamos!